The Honourable Penny Sharp. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr Deputy Bring President. Um, today I went to two events um, that focused on the scourge that is domestic and family violence in Australia. And I started the morning um, at the Rosie Batty breakfast. This is the first time I've actually had the opportunity just to hear from Rosie Batty in person, and I was glad that I was there to hear from it. She talks about the impact and the numbers when it comes to um, women in our community and the impact of domestic and family violence. And the numbers are truly frightening. And I was reminded again today of what they were and feel that yet again in this place, as many others have before me, I need to put those on the record and to again talk about our need to do more when it comes to domestic violence. On average, at least one woman a week is killed by a partner or former partner in Australia. We've had a few people who've been hurt by sharks, and there's no doubt that that's a problem, but there was a great quote from Annabelle Crabb that said that if there was that many people that were being killed by sharks, we would have drained the ocean by now um, to deal with it. Yet one a week we are losing in this country. One in three Australian women has experienced physical violence since the age of 15. One in five Australian women has experienced sexual violence. One in four Australian women has experienced physical or sexual violence by an intimate partner. One or four Australian women has experienced emotional abuse by a current or former partner. Women are at least three times more likely than men to experience violence from an intimate partner. Women are five times more likely than men to require medical attention or hospitalisation as a result of intimate partner violence and five times more likely to report fearing for their lives. Of those women who experience violence, more than half of them have children in their care. These numbers are horrifying, yet we continue to tinker around the edges. No one's denying that we haven't made great progress when it comes to law reform and the operation of our courts, and there has been investment over time in services. But the reality as I stand here today is we know that, that um, community legal centres are about to have a 30% cut. A 30% cut on the minimal amount of money that they currently have that basically supports women who are trying to lead violence in their life. Rosie Batty today spent a long time talking about and trying to answer the question of why women don't leave. And she was exactly right when she said that women don't leave because when they leave is actually when they are most at risk, when their children are most at risk. No one can understand the fear of that or knowing once you've taken that brave step to actually be in danger of your life. But that is the situation that many, many women in Australia find themselves every single day. It costs us every day in our families. It costs us in relation, it costs us, it, it costs us in our workplaces. Which leads me to the other event that I went to today, which was um, a rally at the back of Parliament House where the Unions of Australia are putting to Fair Work Australia the very basic notion that every worker in Australia, as a basic workplace standard, should have access to 10 days domestic violence leave. This is separate to sick leave. This is separate to carers leave. This is about saying that we understand the prevalence of violence in our, in our communities. We understand that women workers, whether it's visible or not, are suffering from domestic violence every day and that we are willing to give them the time and the space that allows them to sort out their lives, to become safe and, most importantly, most importantly continue to keep their job and their financial security as they go through a huge tumultuous change trying to escape violence. The unions today have really two very modest, modest requests of this government. One is that Mike Baird stands up at the, um, at, through the COAG process and backs in the idea that a basic Australian workplace standard says that if you are a woman who is experiencing domestic violence, you are entitled to 10 days, 10 days domestic violence leave. I think that that is something that if we were able to implement that would actually do a do us a great service to the women of Australia in supporting them to leave violent situations and to be safe in their lives. Um, unfortunately, today, the Premier doesn't look like he's done it. I'm standing here today to ask him to consider that. I want to thank particularly the Australian Services Union who has led the charge on this and got all of the other unions. It was a great thing to see all of those blue-collar unions standing up today and saying that they support this as a basic right for the women workers in their workplace. Um, it's not too late, Mike Baird. You can do this. 
10 days Australian workplace standard. Let's make a real difference for, for women in this, in this country and really give them support to get free from violence. So the motion